Penal Code Section 245A2 uh, states the California crime of assault with a firearm. And, and there's basically four ways that you could be charged with assault with a firearm. One is that you actually shoot someone with a gun. Uh, a second way is if you shoot at somebody but miss. A third way to be charged with assault with a firearm is if you point a gun at somebody in, in a threatening manner, uh, don't necessarily shoot, but, but, but scare them, if the gun is loaded. So the gun has to be loaded. And, and a fourth way to be charged is if you pistol whip a person, if you hit them over the head or you, you actually strike them, don't, don't shoot them, but actually hit them directly with a gun. Any of these things can get you charged with this very serious crime of assault with a firearm. If you're convicted, it's a felony, it's a strike under California's three strikes law. If it's just a generic gun, then it carries up to four years in state prison. But if it's a semi-automatic, it carries up to nine years in state prison. And if it's an assault weapon, it carries up to 12 years. And if you actually fire the gun or injure somebody, it could be much longer. It could you know, potentially be life in prison. Now, as serious as these consequences are, we have found that a lot of innocent people get wrongly accused of assault with a firearm. And, and one of the biggest reasons is because uh, they get misidentified. Uh, this is a, an area of the law where misidentification is very common. And, and in fact, uh, misidentification is the number one reason why people in California and across the country get wrongly accused of crimes in general. But anytime there's a situation where there's a gun, where there's a weapon, uh, uh, victims and witnesses to the crime have a tendency to fixate on that weapon and, and not really get a good look at the person who's holding the weapon. Uh, and also these tend to be stressful, chaotic situations and, and witnesses are prone to getting it wrong, to, to going later to a, a photo lineup or a live lineup and, and identifying the wrong person. And, and we've certainly had many situations where uh, we've been able to vindicate a client who's been misidentified. Secondly, uh, many times our client acted in, in self-defense. So maybe he did point a gun at somebody. Maybe he did fire at somebody. But he only did so because his life was being threatened. The other person was the aggressor, and he was protecting himself or his family, and he was acting in righteous and lawful self-defense. Here at Shouse Law Group, we've had a great record of success over the years in defending clients who have been charged with this very serious crime of assault with a firearm and getting these sorts of charges reduced or dismissed.